Hi, welcome to Lessons with John. Uh, today we're going to let the sun shine in. That's it. That's the whole progression. So this is from Hair, and uh, it's just a, a little. Uh, it's a it's a great tune, but it's just part of like a, a longer piece. So it's like they've got they've got like three different songs that they put together, and this is the ending. Uh, sometimes you find it uh, paired with Aquarius. Uh, I think the Fifth Dimension uh, recorded those two together and stuff. So this is just let the sun shine in. Okay, so this is um this is how you would do it. Uh, you know, in the key that they're in. Uh, on the electric guitar. I also show you a very simple way to do it on the acoustic with a capo in just a moment. So we got a B minor. We're going to bar the second fret, five strings, and uh, I'm going to just mute the sixth string by putting my index finger right up into it, just the tip. Second string, third fret, fourth and third string at the fourth fret, and uh, that's my B minor. It's my first chord. Then I'm going to do that uh, one pattern on that one measure, and then I'm going to move to the F sharp seven. I'm going to bar the whole second fret now, uh, third string, uh, third fret, fifth string, fourth fret. That's an F sharp seven. I'm going to do two patterns on that. All right. Then I'm going to go back to my B minor for one pattern, uh, and then I'm going to go to a G chord. You can go to the folk G chords if you want. I'm going to do a bar chord so I can get all the chickas in between. You bar the whole third fret, uh, third string, fourth fret, fifth and fourth string at the fifth fret. Looks like that big giant F chord. Alright, that's a G chord. Then I'm going to go last chord, so one pattern on the G, and one pattern on this last chord, the D chord. Uh, you can do your regular D chord if you want, but in order to play like the electric, uh, we're going to go to the 5th string, 5th fret. Then I'm going to bar my 3rd finger, just lay it down on 4, 3, and 2 at the 7th fret. My 6th string, I'm going to put my tip of my finger right into it. And I'm playing on such an angle that the 1st string ends up getting muted. So this is, pretty, this is a difficult way to play all these bar chords, but that seems to be what's going on in the song. Okay. So that's your progression. B minor, F sharp 7 twice, B minor again, G and then D, and then the whole thing circles and they just do it around and around and around. I think it's like seven times and then they, they end it. So um, anyway, let's come up with a strum pattern. This is difficult. Uh, uh, let me just play it without the chickens first. So you just got like down, 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 up, down, 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 down. So we've done that strum pattern before. do when I play for the most part I probably change it from time to time but I'm gonna go uh, two downs in a row and then do a muted so it's like so and then up is gonna be regular so it's like okay so you just do partial so and then the next grouping is up down down and I'm gonna go up is muted. And down, down. Okay. So what you got is you got down, down, muted down, and then an up, and then an up, muted, and then down, down. And then at the end, I do a down, up, muted. Both of them muted. So it's okay. And that's your pattern. sometimes do some other stuff uh, but that's for the most part so hopefully that's clear enough uh, at the end of the song uh, when you got the the D chord you could just go something like that they end it um, so I just did two downs drag it back a little bit pull it off the guitar before it ends before you get to the end of the guitar so let me play it once through and end it this time Let the sun shine in. All right, now let's do.
do it on the acoustic, make it easier. Let's see if we can flip these guys. Now you don't even have to use the capo if you don't want, but uh, I just kept it in the same key by putting the capo at the second fret. Now my A minor shape becomes a B minor. All right, so my A minor is the fourth and third string second fret, second string first fret. I'll mute the sixth string. Um, then I'm going to go to an E7, third string first fret, fifth string second fret. And strum all the strings on that one. Two patterns on that, and then A minor again. And then any kind of F chord you got in you. you so like your second string first fret, third string, third string second fret, fourth string third fret. I think that's what I, I think I got that right. So you could do the small one like that. You know, like that, or you could bar the top two strings and third string, second fret, and fourth string, third fret. You could do that one. You could do the big giant F chord like that, the bar chord. Uh, I tend to do my F chords like this. So I got the small F and I wrap my thumb and I grab the sixth string first fret. That's you're gonna see me doing my F's like that. Uh, and then the C chord's your last chord. Second string first fret, fourth string, second fret, fifth string, third fret. Okay? I end up muting the sixth string on that one. I don't like the sound, so I mute it. Alright, so what you could do is instead of doing that real, you could still do the complicated strum, like... But that, that's kind of difficult. So if you want to turn into like a folk version of it, which is what most people probably would do anyway, is just do the uh, down, down, up, up, down, up. So A minor for one, E seven for two, A minor for one, F chord for one, and then C for one. I'll do it one more time and end it. So that's Let the Sun Shine In. Uh, there's an easy way to play it. You can play it the hard way. Whatever you like. Uh, my strum, if you didn't get it, was down, down, up, up, down, up. It's the one I give out most of the time. Very generic. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and play more guitar.